Ooh. Hello, how are you? Live trans and prosper. I'm Dr. Brian David Phillips, and it's cold outside. At least when I'm recording this, I don't know, it may be completely and totally warm when and where you are watching it. Or maybe you're cold too. Or not so much. Either way, let's play a little game. A little game that I'd like to play with you just to give you a little taste to some of the interesting powers of your imagination. This is a little taste of the mind ecstatic. And I'd like to give you that taste because this coming July I'm going to be at Hypno Thoughts Live! And we're going to be playing with a whole lot of interesting imagination games and much, much more related to the mind ecstatic. I'm Dr. Brian David Phillips, and I'll be your guide into the fascinating world of the ecstatic mind. Now, this little imagination game I'd like to play with you right now is just for you. And I want to let you know that you don't have to follow my directions if you don't want to. That's the beauty about the mind ecstatic processes. It's up to you. Now, some of you will have full benefit, boom, right away. Others need to relax into it a bit more and work on intensifying imaginative involvement. That's a fancy smancy way of imagine as if it's real. And when I say imagine something as if it's real, you pop your mind into that state. So if I ask you to imagine warmth, actually imagine so well that you start to feel warmer. Now you've all done that before. Or, you know, when someone said it's cold outside and suddenly you start noticing how cold it is, your imagination has kicked in and you started feeling cold. So when I sit comfortably and seem to be warm, you feel warmer. But if I start giving you nonverbal suggestions that it's so cold here, some of you are literally starting to feel the temperature drop in your room. So I'll stop that. It's not cold at all. Because the hottest place in the world is in your mind. Now let's play a little game. This is called the Energizer. I didn't create this process. It's a process uh, created by Eric Kahn based on a whole slew of previous processes. I live in Taiwan, the heart and soul of Asia. And so I meet a lot of folks who do similar processes with Qigong and other mind-body processes. So let's get to her. I'd like you to sit comfortably. And all you got to do is just hold out your hands in front of you. Two hands. Uh, or one or the other or whatever. Hold your hands out in front of you like little cups. Okay, little cups. And I'd like you to just... Breathe in and breathe out and relax. And I'd like you to close your eyes and breathe in and breathe out and relax. Keep your hands there. I'd like you to imagine the last time you felt good. And by good, whatever you want that good feeling to feel like. Some of you are feeling good because someone said something nice to you. Some are feeling good because you had a really nice wet kiss from a loved one. And some of you are feeling good because, well, it feels good. If you like, you can make it that last sensual experience, the last time you felt really good. And I want you to imagine those good feelings. And imagine them in that cup in the palms of your hands. And imagine that as you breathe in that good feeling, that good feeling gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And as you breathe out, just let that good feeling roll through you. 
But as you breathe in that good feeling, like a liquid in the palm or cup of your hands. Now as you breathe in, you begin to feel that good feeling getting stronger and stronger. Now, that good feeling has a color. As you keep your eyes, I'd like you to imagine that good feeling with each and every breath. And I'd like you to imagine the color of that feeling. Now I'm going to ask you in a moment to say the color aloud. What is the color? Say it now. That's right. I'd like you to imagine as you breathe that good feeling getting stronger. Maybe you've started to feel it swirling now. Like twirling around and around, moving. Like a whirlpool growing faster and stronger in the cup of your palm. And imagine as you breathe in that feeling getting stronger and stronger and as you breathe out it starts to flow through you and as you breathe in that strong feeling getting stronger and stronger and as a liquid like a liquid good feeling you know the color and it starts to lap over the sides of the cup it starts to move down your hands your wrists up your arm over your shoulder down the front of your body, over the back of your body, and it starts to go from the front and goes whooshes, it goes up the back, and every breath it breathes in and breathe out. As you breathe in, it goes up, and as you breathe out, it goes down. Breathe again, that strong, good feeling getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and tell yourself each and every breath that colorful, wonderful, good feeling getting stronger and stronger. Now in a moment I want you to just to realize and really feel it as if that good feeling starts growing and growing and growing so that in a moment it begins, your hands begin to move toward your chest. And as it begins moving towards you, you feel that wonderful good feeling growing and vibrating. Growing and vibrating and growing and vibrating. You feel that wonderful good feeling getting stronger and stronger as your hands just slowly begin moving toward your chest. Now in a moment, in a moment, I'm going to count from 10 to 1. I'd like you to just go ahead and allow yourself to imagine which each number I say that good feeling gets even stronger. Some people will just double that good feeling. Others just feel that feeling getting stronger and better and more and more good. Or if you prefer gooder, or really, really good. And feel that feeling 10, stronger and stronger as it begins moving slowly towards your chest. 9, stronger and stronger as that good feeling growing and growing. 8, 7, stronger, breathing in every breath, that strong, good feeling. 6, 5, even stronger, your hands getting closer and closer to your chest. 4, and 3. Now at the last number, when I tell you the last number, that last number, number 1, when that happens, your hands pull into your chest, and it's like that good feeling explodes through your mind, your body, and your spirit. And your eyes open with the explosion, and you look out and to see the world, and you feel a wonderful, wonderful excitement, a wonderful, wonderful, good feeling. Five, stronger and stronger. Four, even stronger. Three, the hands feel them really closer and closer. Two, and one. Pull your hands in. Eyes open, explode. See, feel, breathe. Ooh, that good feeling. And notice how really good that feels. And release. Now, some of you feel pretty good right now. Some of you, you want to practice it, but I will tell you, if you practice, and as you practice, you really intensify the involvement of your imagination, it gets better every time. Seriously, it gets way better. Now that's just a taste of one little process that is part of the ecstatic mind. Please don't assume that's all we're going to do at the Ecstatic Mind Seminar at HypnoThoughts Live in Las Vegas in July, because it's not. That's just a little thing. We're going to be doing full-on energy orgasms, breathing orgasms, 
couples orgasms, uh, intimacy enhancement, and all sorts of really awesome stuff. And you, you don't want to miss it. Seriously, you don't. I'm looking at you right now, and I can tell you, seriously, you don't want to miss this. Or not. I don't know. It's up to you. But if you'd like to see more, go ahead and go to the links here, and the links down here, and uh, check us all out. All right? Live trance and prosper. And stay warm. Peace.